All right, uh, an SHO with a mass of 3.91 kilograms and a velocity, the equation of velocity of V is 12 cos 17t. Uh, <laughs> it's like a sentence fragment. <laughs> Sorry. Um, wow. Whoever wrote that problem is, has serious problems with the English language. Uh, what is its kinetic energy at 16.3 seconds? What is its amplitude? What is its acceleration at uh, x? Is, uh, okay, we can do this. Uh, let's do the first thing too, right? Um, you, know, you can, you can, you could do, you could do this easy. You could do this hard. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this formula to find the velocity, and then use this to find my kinetic energy. Okay, so don't forget that you know how to calculate kinetic energy given a velocity, right? No, don't forget that because that'll come in handy, right? We've got the mass. We're all set. Got to have the mass. Okay, so let's see, V is 12.0 cos 17.0 radians per second, right? Uh, times 16.3, right? Okay. Here we go, okay. uber parentheses, right? Okay, so literally I'm just going to plug that in. Let's get the velocity. Okay, 12. Cos. Oh, make sure you are in radians, okay? You really want to be in radians for this. So 12 cos parentheses, 17 times 16.3. All right, are we ready for this? That's a lot of radians. I'm getting that the velocity is 9.626249 meters per second, right? So my kinetic energy would be 1 half mv squared, which would be 1 half, 3.91 kilograms is my mass, right? Ch -ch -ch. times the answer that I just got, 9.626249. Okay, so 0. 0.5 times 3.91 times the answer I just got squared. I'm getting 181 jowls. All right, so let me just erase here. We can figure out its amplitude. We can figure out its acceleration. I think we can do that, but I'm going to erase here. Are we ready for this? All right, uh, how do we figure out its amplitude? Okay, well, if V is 12 cos 17t, and V in general is omega x naught, could be cos omega t, right? Omega must be 17 and 12. 12 must be omega times x naught, right? So we have omega is 17, and we have uh, omega x naught is 12. <laughs> okay. Hmm, this is math. Okay, so um, 12 then, therefore, right, has to equal... Uh, 17 times x naught, right? Yeah, I think so, right? Yeah, there we go, right? Yeah, because oh, this is uh, omega x naught, right? It's 12, so 12 is there, 17 is omega. Okay, so we can find x naught, which is 12 divided by 17. That comes out even to 0 .0, 0 0.70588. <laughs> okay, so x naught is... Right, and then what's its acceleration at uh, 0.6 meters? Now I'm going to use this formula. A is the opposite of omega squared x. Right, so we just plug it in. Right, we know omega is 17, so the acceleration is opposite of 17 squared times positive. <laughs> Notice that uh, I chose a number less than the amplitude. Very, being very clever as I usually am, negative 17 squared times 0. 0.6, negative 173.4. Okay. Uh, um, and you know, well, why is it, why is it a negative acceleration? That's because uh, 
Right, this thing's oscillating back and forth. Uh, its amplitude is 0.7, we'll say 0.71, 0 0.706, right? So positive 0 0.706 and negative 0 0.706. Here's the center. Positive 0.6 is like here. Right, and so when I'm here, the spring is pulling me, the force of the spring is pulling me toward equilibrium, so it's pulling me to the left. It doesn't matter whether I'm moving to the right or the left. The spring is pulling me to the left. So if I'm moving to the right, I'm slowing down. If I'm moving to the left, I'm speeding up. In either case, I'm accelerating toward the origin. And that's why it's negative. All right. 